The use of data and the application of learning analytics raises a number of issues that are either new or have been less acute in the past. And these are obviously important to take into account. We've heard from students uh, on a range of these issues. Now let's hear from teachers about what they think about these areas of concern. The views of teachers are important for two reasons. First of all, of course, uh, in their work of designing uh, courses and carrying out a crucial operation of function within their universities and colleges, their views are important in themselves. But they're also important because teachers are the first line of contact with students. They're the first opportunity that a college or a university has to appreciate and understand students' attitudes to uh, data, students' attitudes to learning analytics. So let's hear what teachers have to say about these areas of concern. I think one of my concerns about learning analytics is the privacy aspect. You know, everything, students does, every, everything a student does is recorded. Uh, when I was a student, there was no expectation that I attend lectures. In mathematics, in my opinion, some people learn a lot from lectures. Some people actually learn much better from printed notes, books, other sources. And some of our students have actually said they don't attend lectures because they get confused. When they read the notes, they understand them. When they go to a lecture, they don't understand them. So I have a lot of sympathy with students who choose not to attend lectures for good reasons. And I worry that sometimes we're using measurements which don't really record important things. We're giving perhaps more importance to attendance than it really merits. I think there's also a question about privacy. You know, we have students who don't attend classes sometimes for reasonably confidential reasons, health reasons, whatever. And a lot of information is being recorded about them, which might be used against them you know, if, for example, employers were to ask about attendance um, and they know we've got the data, then um, I hope we wouldn't give it. But um, I think there's potential for misuse of that kind of data. Useful facilities like lecture capture clearly require consent from students because they're in the room. If they say something, it will be captured. Um, so I think it's natural that consent is required from students. Some forms I've seen, or some instructions, say that students have to waive their moral rights. And I'm not really comfortable with that because, first of all, I don't think you should ever waive moral rights. But I don't think students know what it means. And I don't know why universities would be proposing to do anything with the footage that would upset students' moral rights. So I feel that there's a slight tendency just to ask students for consent for absolutely everything without really necessarily acquiring that so much consent and taking advantage of the student's lack of understanding of what's being asked for and also the fact that having paid £9,000 to, to attend university, they're not, they're not going to not attend class just because they have to give away a few rights to do so. I think the, the issue of student consent is a very complex one. Um, as we gather more and more data on our students' activities, then I do think there is a need for, at the very least, more informed consent from our students. Um, currently, most institutions consent is ticking a box at registration without any possibly any real understanding of what is being agreed to. Um, it is certainly within some institutions, partly within this one because the nature of the, the campus is a bit different, it would be possible to track virtually a student's movements around the campus. Um, I think that is probably overly intrusive and I think we, we need to be very careful about what information we hold, how we hold it and how long we hold it for to make sure that we're not abusing that position of trust we have. I do think there is a need to really educate new and, in, and ongoing students about the nature of the data that we're going to be holding on them and how we're going to be using it so that they can, if they really wish, opt out of having that data held and used. I think there should be some form of opt out for students. Looking at some of the more contentious issues, um, particularly around things like prevent, we haven't had 
too many interactions with, with Prevent. Um, I'm aware of a couple that have gone on. And in those cases, they, they weren't really using data that we held. Um, I would be very uncomfortable, and I think most people in the university would, if we were routinely using data available to us to profile students. Um, I think any reporting to authorities should be on the basis of hard information um, that is based on behaviours, information received, rather than on somebody's profile. Looking at um, how we've involved the student body in, in our overall use of, of digital data, the student union are very strongly represented on the Student Experience Committee, for example, which has been one of the prime venues for discussion of the increasing use of digital data. And they have played a very active role in discussing and designing how we use that data, what sort of data we collect and how we use it.